Okay, so since Slim's last win over Salt Pappy, um, they've not really known what to do with him. So what Slim was hoping for, and I guess what a few other people were hoping for, was that he now that he's uh, beat Salt Pappy, you know, he's, he's more or less at the top of the Misfits food chain. Who can he fight next? And he's wanted KSI. He's wanted KSI for a long, long time. So he tried to do a call out uh, at the last event, um, tried to, you know, get in his face and say, you know, fight me next. But KSI quite literally laughed at him and walked away. Since then, he has um, approached KSI's trainer and said, um, how do you think that fight's going to go? And kept pressuring, kept pressuring, saying, how do you think that fight's going to go? And it get, got to the point that uh, KSI's trainer, I can't remember his name, but from Shoot Fighters, uh, KSI's trainer just said, um, if he fights you, he kills you. Uh, which is, uh, you know, fair enough, if, that, if that's what you believe. And I'm sure a lot of people, I'm trying to remain a bit unbiased, um, but I'm sure a lot of people uh, also believe that. Uh, he's then been uh, stepping up his call-out game, uh, trying to post on, on Twitter and Instagram, trying to go to reaction from KSI. Uh, and he's not, he's doing an okay job, um, but he's trying to go to reaction and KSI again, just basically laugh at him. And uh, recently, I think it was yesterday, Mams basically put out a tweet saying, uh, I'm not going to make the fight because I'm trying to protect Slim from getting knocked out. So Mams obviously thinks that that fight goes one way as well. So that fight is most likely not happening. So my thought is, okay, who is he going to fight? And I, I do think I've got the answer for this. So before I get into that, I just want to say thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you'd like to, if or not if you'd like to, if you could uh, leave a like, that would be really appreciative. If you could subscribe, that would be great as well. Pretty much 99% of people that watch my videos don't subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to do one video a day for the whole of February, just see how much I can grow in a month. Uh, so uh, a like, a comment, a subscribe, anything like that would be really appreciative. Uh, so yeah, thank you for that. Okay, so getting in. So I've got a top five. So if I keep looking down, I've got my notes. I've got my top five people who I think he should fight or could fight next. So at number five, obviously, is KSI. I've put him there just kind of as, you know, so he's on the list. Um, I've already talked about that. I don't think it's going to happen. But for me, I know how it could happen. But it's, again, for, for, for what I'm about to go into, I can kind of explain how it could happen. I've also got another video coming out in a few days uh, about another opportunity, how that how how he could get that fight with KSI, and that's by fighting for uh, that's by fighting for the cruiserweight belt in potentially a tournament style. So if you want to see that video, subscribe. That's coming out in a couple of days. So at number four, uh, equally as unlikely as the KSI fight, is the Gibb fight. So this has been wanted since the beginning of of crossover boxing and influencer boxing the gib fight is a massive fight it's a fans fight it's not a mainstream fight it's not a fight that's going to bring in audience that don't know the fighters like like the prime card brought in a lot of extra audience because you know had logan paul dylan dallas tommy fury brought in a lot of outside uh, uh viewers um gib slim isn't going to bring a lot of outside viewers but what it is going to bring is all of the fans from across all the different areas of influencer boxing you know you have the gibbs fans who haven't actually made it to misfits because he's not made the misfits you've got the misfits fans you know you've got everyone there coming to as as close to a, a mega fight that is uh, like a jake paul ksi but on a bit of a lower level so that would be a mega fight but again i'm putting that very much in the unlikely camp um gibb has apparently retired and it would be interesting to see if he ever does come fight again as much as I want him to fight. Uh, so next, I guess this is number three. Uh, next is Kenny, uh, Slim versus Kenny. Now, for me, this is a fight that Kenny shouldn't take because I think Slim Slim finishes him um, pretty, pretty easily. Uh, I don't think Kenny's fought anyone that's kind of like Slim. Um, so I think that definitely goes Slim's way. So if they're trying to protect kenny that's a that's a that's a fight not to make but if they're trying to build you know a big card that's not around ksi the kenny slim fight could be the one they can meet and wait they can you know kenny was almost like the champion of of um kingpin although i personally think gib would have won that but kenny was almost the champion of kingpin so him fighting slim because slim did say give me the winner so i think that's a fight they could make it'd be a really good fight and i think that'd be a main event that could you know rival 
maybe the the fate, uh, KSI Temper, KSI Fournier kind of levels of of viewership. Obviously, it's not going to do prime card viewership, but in my head, like that's an equal almost to like a, a Temper um, Fournier uh, level. Uh, at number two is ironically the Salt Puppy Two fight. You know, the rematch. Um, I think it's something that definitely should happen for me i'd like to have salt have at least one fight before going back to um going back to slim but i think that's a fight that they could make down the line for example if they want to give slim like i don't know ryan taylor in march and then then he fights salt puppy towards the middle of the year that would make sense to me so i think that salt puppy two fight is definitely something that's going to happen i'd hopefully for for the sake of salt i'd like them to maybe i was gonna say move the weight but to be honest salt was doing well at that weight but i think his his punches just weren't hitting as hard so they could fight that weight again they could do an in-between weight between uh, light heavyweight and cruiser I'm, I'm not sure what they could do but i think that's definitely a fight to make but for me the number one fight to make now again this is very much in the same way that it's a it's a fans fight a, a influence of boxing fans fight rather than a mainstream fight and that is the Anthony Taylor fight. Now, the reason for this is, AT's I, I, been calling for it. He's, he's, well, he's been calling everyone, let's be honest. AT's been calling for it. Um, he's, you know, active. He's very vocal. They could do very well with the selling. Slim and AT are one of the few people that actually do promote. So the promotion on that would be really good. Um, I think it, you'd have to really sell it a specific way to actually get people interested. And the specific way of doing that is winner gets both belts now originally i was thinking whoever wins that will they be the first two division champion they won't but uh because dean the great i think he had two belts at uh featherweight and lightweight in in that division in the lighter weight divisions um but he never took the belt off someone else he just had two fights um i think they were one after the other two fights he beat them both and he got the belt for each of them so it wasn't like he had to someone else was in was in the division had the belt and he took it off him he just fought twice in two different weight divisions and, and won the belt against people that you know the wally fight was you know that they were at equal skills i don't know who he, who he fought for the other one whether it was you know, pulley or reef or someone else like that but anyway dean is the two two weight champion but this would be the first time that a champion and a champion have fought on uh, on a card and the winner gets both belts so you know that's how they market it they marked it as uh two two champions winners takes all kind of deal and i think that would do numbers i think that what they could do if they promote it correctly that could do really well uh, i know if you have a bunch of people on the card that are also either challenger fights or, or, or you know fighting for a belt you could really build a really strong card um around that so that that's my thought i think the anthony taylor is the next one to make uh, for, for for you know winner takes both belts i think that could be a decent fight to make for the summer a main a main fight to make maybe even in america as they're both american but either way i think that's the fight to make um but that's it on my list um yeah i think that 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 that's any of those fights would be good the most likely ones are the Anthony Taylor, uh, Salt Pappy, and Kenny ones, in my opinion. But you never know. Uh, Mams works in mirac miraculous ways, so we just got to wait and see. Uh, so yeah, again, I I'm trying to do a video a day for the rest of the month. So if you want to see more uh, content around uh, YouTube and influencer boxing, uh, please subscribe. Have a comment. Let me know if I'm talking a bunch of rubbish. A lot of people say that anyway. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.